Hey everyone, I'm back again today and this time I have for you the REV, that's the REV Robotic Enhanced Vehicles. It's the starter pack from Wowee and these things are really an innovation in uh, remote control toys really because you get to play almost like a video game. You can either take on the computer or you can go one on one with a friend who has the, um, the app. Now let me just uh, give you a quick look at the cars themselves. They're identical cars except for colors. So there's a black one, or a white one rather with uh, blue trim, uh, black windshield, gray on the bottom, and there's a black one with red trim and everything else is the same. Uh, on the bottom here we have the speaker for the sound and you can hear when I put the on switch. It gets pretty loud. Um, the app also makes sound by the way. Uh, there's your battery cover. Each car takes four AA batteries which is quite a bit for a set like this. But I think it's preferable to having uh, a built-in rechargeable that only gives you 10 to 12 minutes of playtime. With this, you can play for pretty much as long as to your phone dies, I guess. Um, an interesting aspect of these two is the back wheels. They have real rubber. They're very wide wheels. These give you excellent grip as opposed to the front wheels here, which are just uh, basically very narrow plastic tires. Um, one problem with this is that the, the back wheels, they're also your driving wheels and your steering wheels. And when you go to steer, sometimes you'll just try to steer a little bit, maybe like this, and because all the powers in the back wheels and the front wheels are a little bit slippery, it goes more like this. So it can be a little bit difficult to control. Um, the controls actually are very, very sensitive. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you, uh, the app. Let's bring it up here. So the app is free. Anyone can download it. Um, if you're on uh, an Apple device, you go to the App Store, and if you're on Android, you go to Google Play. So basically all I need to do now is turn on one of the cars, and it will start to pair up. And you can hear the, the little the noise that it makes there. And when it's all paired up, there's a light here, an LED, that will basically be solid blue. Uh, when it's not paired, when you first turn the car on, it's going to flash white. It's not as easy to see on the, on the white car, the black car. It really stands out there. You can kind of get a better idea. But anyway, this big uh, button here in the middle, that's your, your firing button. So every time you hit that, you can hear the car is going to fire. Uh, on the, I'm going to actually turn it upside down because it'll drive off the table. On the left side here, that's your, your uh, drive. So forward, backward, and then there's a similar circle on the right for steering, left and right. And you can actually set it up in the configurations to have uh, just one circle for both, and then that leaves your other thumb free for firing which is probably a good idea in some cases. Um, as I said, the app is free, so if you, have, uh, if you want to play against a friend, you don't have to uh, have them pay for another app. You basically, each person can download the app, and one controls one car, one controls the other. And the objective of the game is basically to blast the other guy into oblivion, and uh, whoever comes out uh, well, basically does it first, that's the winner. Uh, as you go through the different games, uh, and, and win rounds, you can upgrade, uh, they give you extra moves, different weapons and stuff like that so you can become a real, uh, real ace after a while. Um, I also want to just show to the, the, uh, the little sensors here. You can see there's sensors on all four of the outer edges of the car, front, back, left and right. And these sensors, this is for when you're playing against the computer. So basically, if you're the white car, and this is the computer here, and you drive over like this, the black car can sense where you are, and he'll turn, and he'll try to get you, and he's going to come at you far enough. So I'll do a little demonstration in a separate video, because it's just a lot to try to, to orchestrate all at once here. I've set up a little ring. Uh, the problem with these things, they go so fast that they're very difficult to play with in the house, unless you have a very big room with a lot of open space. Um, if you've got furniture, tables, chairs, things like that getting in the way, it's, it's quite difficult. And they're not really supposed to be played with outside. Even this driveway here, which is paved, uh, you can tell it's a little bit bumpy, and they can't really handle even that much of a bumpy driveway. So they really need a very flat surface. Um, basically, that's all I have to say about these for now. Check out the little demo video and see what you think, and uh, have an excellent week.